Detroit Urban Survival Training. I'm gonna share with you right now what you can do if someone's bracing and they're strong and you're having a hard time putting them in an arm bar. So if you try to move the arm bar, this happens to a lot of people, they'll try to arm bar the person and they can't because the person is strong and they're resisting. So all you have to do is remember this, take your palm up in a circle and now you have control. You can remain standing or take them all the way to the ground, your choice. So in this case, I put my foot here, right next to the shoulder, right here, the lock is here, up against the thigh, and for extra control, we can actually bend the wrist downward. By bending the wrist downward here, you're actually uh, able to create a lock, and you have two locks, because you actually can go hands-free here, or hold here and maintain it, and this is why it's so important. When other people, civilians, see you holding someone, this person will be screaming for help, other people will think that you're the aggressor. You need to be up, look them in the eye, and tell them, I am not, I'm holding him for law enforcement because he broke uh, the law, and whatever crime they did, make sure you communicate. 